We are in the, God, I got to look up the name of this place. The Chusa Grasslands Visitor Center. The Chusa Grasslands, yes. This visitor center, which is not enclosed, it's open year round, um, dawn to dusk. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're standing here just immensely impressed with the structure of the facility, the sanctuary from the sun that this is providing. And we're sitting reading all these placards and learning <laughs> really like everything's getting put together here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're learning about fire foam to help create the borders of the burn. Which we have not come across before. No. I mean, let's, <laughs> let's talk about that for a second. So they use the foam that is in fire extinguishers. I would assume that's the same foam. Uh, I, I don't think that. I think it's a different, more kind of soluble foam. Okay, okay. Um, to create a, a border or perimeter right. uh, around where they want the burn to happen. Um, we've read so many placards on how controlled burns work, and at no point was that mentioned. No. You know, and it's always been kind of a mystery to me as we walk a path that's burned on one side and not on the other. Like, how do you stop it? And as we came in here, they had the sign saying, you know, spring burn, fall burn, four years, three years, no burn. Mm -hmm. And they're clearly able to, like, put a perimeter there. That's a perfect word. And that foam is, is how they do it. The other is the bison grazing. So they've got a, a kind of a, if you can scan down, uh, the placard shows the bison tend to graze on the current year's burn. And then because uh, it brings forth lush, diverse, nutritious growth, and that's what attracts the bison to graze. So they're out moving around in the newer growth, mm -hmm. and then the other prairie animals come and either and f either fill in the gaps or or work with them. Talk about an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And bison, by the way, can run 35 miles an hour, so don't go near them. This is what they sound like. That is a strong trachea. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good for you. <laughs> right out of woodpeckers, we've heard and come across. So, so <laughs> on a, on the, in the middle of the day, it sounds like, yeah, but I don't think they can all play at the same time. I guess not. I was a revenue officer with the Internal Revenue Service and now there's drove in on until I retired. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to be human. <laughs> I didn't come here to listen to a human. <laughs> wow, I love this place. What a great job. Hey, kudos. This is the best we've seen. Conservatory must get fund like federal funding or just like a lot of funding because it is a nationwide organization okay. versus a county wide. Well, like King County did a good job on certain trails, yes, and that yes. was like they like stood like it stood out. But this like, like everything works like the speakers work. Yes, and we've got skulls over here, and maybe it's just because we are, you know, two hours away from the city, but they have not been stolen. Oh, yeah. This is not a. I assume there's video, but there's no. This is not a protected facility. Like, yeah, it's it's really nice. Like I feel like they they're respecting us, so we respect, you know, them and thus nature. That's the feel that I get out of it. I'm feeling very respected and I'm feeling very respectful. Nice. I don't get that very often. Nice, yeah, that's fucking solid. 
Yeah, that's worth a swear. That's worth a rated rating on this video. <laughs> <laughs> a demonetization. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Natural soundtrack. Or is it original soundtrack? All right. I'm going to turn this off for now. I think this has been a pretty good coverage of what's going on here. I think so too. I wasn't expecting everything. I was not at all expecting this. Right off of Loudon Road, south of Oregon, Illinois, the Rock River is off in the distance. Uh, Dixon is to the south of us and Rockford is to the north of us. And there's a hike map. Okay.